Aisha Vistram is not necessarily a name you see associated with hockey. In a sense, you're a bit of a double minority in the sport. Why is that representation really important? Um, that's, a, that's a great question. I do think that representation matters. I think that when you see someone who looks like you doing the job that you want, it makes you believe that you can do it too. Um, I think it's great to have role models uh, out there that look like you as well. So to even just be a part of that conversation uh, for me is, uh, again, an honor and very humbling. There's Aisha Vishram. She's done phenomenal work down in Ontario. She's going to do the same move with the Los Angeles Kings. Aisha, welcome to the National Hockey League. At what point did you realize not only were you getting an opportunity, you were making history getting that opportunity? Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to uh, stay out of that conversation as much as I could and focus on my own experience, my excitement, uh, the job at hand. But I did, when I did tell some of my friends, hey, I'm going to get a chance to work in an NHL game, the conversation did start. Do you know how many there have been before you? Are you the first? Are you the second? So I did know that conversation was going on. There was certainly a conversation online, on social media. At what point did you get wind of the fact that so many others were taking great pride and excitement in what you were doing? Probably after the first period, I checked my phone like I normally do to see if any players had contacted me or needed anything. And my phone was just blowing up. The battery was dying. I couldn't keep up with what was going on. So at that point, I realized, wow, there's a, there's a really big conversation going on behind the scenes here as to, as to what's happening in this game. What were some of the messages that you were seeing and reading? Uh, a lot from family and friends, and a lot of um, random messages from, from fans, from parents, from other women in athletic training just saying how much they, they thought that moment was so cool and so um, uh, inspirational, which was very, um, a big honor for me and very humbling. You're the first in your role, but we're seeing many firsts in a lot of different roles in hockey for females. Why do you think we're seeing the change in representation for females in the sport right now? I think it's, it's just, a, just a perfect time where we're so aware of diversity and increasing diversity and gender equity um, and that's leading to all of these opportunities. At, at the same time it is a little frustrating to see how much attention is paid to it because it means that we still have so much more work left to do. When we get to the point where we no longer have to do these things, that's going to be great too because it means we've reached that that point where everything is equal, we're completely inclusive, we've embraced diversity, so there's still, you know, it's great to see, but there's still quite a bit of work to be done.